Hey guys, what's good? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Vinat TV. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing. I will appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed for stopping by. Thank you very much indeed for clicking. I want to show you what we got here. This is Epson printer XP4205. Epson Expression Horn 4205. This printer is multifunctional printer, it's multi-tax, triple in one if you like, in the sense you can copy, scan and print from this printer. This printer is dual band. You can connect it via Wi-Fi network and USB cable connection. Unfortunately, USB cable is not included with the packaging. Check out the cable at Vinet Tech Store. We also have some of the technology gadgets we used we unbox them we reviewed it we put it up for sale in the store so check it out if you like this printer right now i'm going to give you an overview of this printer then for us to connect this printer to wi-fi network is what we are going to do so this is the scanner for this printer flat bell scanner you can stick the document the maximum is a4 B5 later can stick the document you want to copy or scan on top of the scanner and select the function from the screen. This printer right now, check out the video, is using N cartridges C04 or C04 extra large. Check out my video how we install the ink. Also, check out the video how we loaded the paper. So the paper we have here now is A4 paper. We also completed the alignment head. I encourage you to do this so that the printer will function properly okay so what we want to do without taking much time i also want to show you the ink cartridge holder is right here okay this is where the ink is okay so you need to open this up select the function you want to remove the ink and the ink will come out okay now if you have any paper jam this is where to check for any paper jam and debris so check for any paper jam at the back here Yeah. so check for any paper jam here and also once you're done put it back there is a spring here you just need to press the spring together and it will go back in okay now what we want to do is to try to set this printer up and to do that, we need to use a mobile device. This printer is compatible with Epson Smart Panel. So what we are going to do is we need to try to connect this printer using the mobile device app. If we can't connect it, then we need to try to connect this printer using the, connect to Wi-Fi using the printer. And to do that, what we need to do now is I would like you to go to your Play Store. Okay, so go to your Play Store. Once you are in Play Store, type epson smart panel and this is the epson smart panel is already downloaded it's already downloaded on my mobile phone okay so it's already downloaded my mobile phone so what you need to do is click it open and once you click it open now it will start to search for products what is doing now is searching for product. Sometimes you need to bring the product very, bring this mobile device very close to the printer so that there will be a communication. So we are going to see if it will pick up this printer. This printer is Epson Expression Home XP4205. Okay, so what it did now is it pick up my network. Okay, so we're going to go back. Okay, so this is the Epson Smart Panel. What we need to do is, okay, we need to click plus to select a new product. Okay, now would you like to check if your product is supported? I won't check it because you can see from the printer it's written Wi-Fi on it, so I won't check it now. So what we need to do is, this is the Epson Smart Panel. So you, we have option to set up a new product or connect a product already on the Wi-Fi. Now, what you want to do is, first of all, we need to try set up a new product. 
if we manage to pick the product then we'll go ahead and connect this printer but if we can't find it using the mobile device then we need to try to set this up using the printer then we'll go back and connect it to the mobile device so select set up a new product and it's now epson the app will thank you for choosing your epson product so click continue okay it will actually turn out turn on bluetooth on your smartphone click turn on okay so what is doing now is switching make sure the product is turned on if a usb cable is connected to the product disconnect it and turn the product off and on again click next so now it starts here we go you can see it pick you find the product xp4200 serix so we find it select on it are you sure you want to select xp4200 series select yes here we go do you want to set up wi-fi on this product select yes you can see all my answer by the side okay now confirming the product status confirming the product status check the product you want wireless network do you want to connect it so it shows my network click yes okay now wi-fi password is required click yes okay the password is usually shown on the back of back or side of a router or in the router documentation click next it may be called encryption key or security key click next do you confirm the password click yes okay now some character are similar this is just telling you things you need to be aware of click next now it's going to bring out this key board okay so i have the information for my wi-fi network okay here with me so what i'm going to do is sometimes people ask me where they get this information like said i got this information from back of my router so i'm going to put this information okay just bear with me to put this information then we proceed to the next requirement I also want to make sure also want to mention if we ask you for capital letter make sure you are using capital letter if we ask you for small letter make sure you are using small letter so that the the information you put will be correct if you miss any digit required it will not go ahead it will not connect so it's pretty much you will need to start afresh You can also press this i sign if you want to see the figure you are putting you can can press this i sign to leave it open for you to see so i'm going to press it and check if i'm happy with the information that i put okay now i'm happy with the information that i put okay so once you're done the next thing you need to do is click okay okay and it will show you the it actually shows me now the information okay do you want to connect click yes connect okay so it's preparing wait for the product wi-fi setting is complete so now wait until the product wi-fi setting is complete so now it's communicating with the printer here we go you can see it's progressing four percent completed so it's moving there's a line okay that is progressing to 10 percent 11 percent and also on the print i can see it shows us wi-fi now okay which you can cancel if you don't want but it's, you need to wait for this to complete on the mobile device for us to be able to do anything with this printer now Here we go this actually is is connected but we need to wait for this to complete okay because i can see from the printer is is asking us participate in the future design of epson product here we go 
preparation setting the wi-fi wait until the wi-fi setup is complete and the smart phone and product are connected click next here we go you can see okay so click ok so this here we go this is the printer this is the printer xp 4200 series this printer is 4205 but it started from 4200 series from here you can see the ink levels you can head clean nozzle check fireway up there advanced setting buy ink enable epson connect epson connect login product email address so guys this is how to connect this printer to wi-fi network now you can scan copy and print do so many things with this printer only what you need to do you need to scroll side okay from the function you want it will take you to function okay so check out my next video how to scan with this pro this printer if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it help the channel thank you very much indeed and stay blessed thank you <laughs>